Hi, this is Denise. Welcome to my home. Here we are on Thursday. Thursday. Oh, he didn't give me any warning at all. Here he is. This week has gone by really fast. What do you think, Hunter? Has it gone by fast? Huh? I don't know why he thinks right now is the appropriate time to be up here, but he does, and that's fine. He can be up here anytime. But for some reason, he really, really enjoys being up here at this particular given time when I'm talking. Is that because you're not in trouble? He pooped on my bed. I think it was him. Didn't smell like cat poop. Smelled like hunter poop. They say that animals will poop on your bed if they're mad at you. I don't know what he's mad at me about. What are you mad at me about? He's never done it before, and I hope he doesn't ever do it again. Ever, ever. I have puppy pads down, and he avoids those. He pees on them, but he won't poop on them. He normally poops outside. Well, that's not true. Sometimes he'll poop outside. I don't care about the outside, you know, the poop. I can pick that up. I just don't want him peeing anywhere. Well, good morning. I guess we're talking about poop here. Is that what you wanted when you tuned in? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is Denise. If you haven't been here before, we talk about all kinds of things, including poop, I guess. Um, and Hunter is the star of the show. He's right there. Right there. And he's always around. I have six cats and two dogs. And this little puppy steals the show. Wait a minute. Ah, rah, 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 rah. You don't have to look at me all the time. Why don't you look at these people's? <laughs> Oh, he's so determined. He's not a compliant puppy. He doesn't want to be. And that's okay. That's his personality. I think he would be content just gazing in my face all day long. Although I expect him to open his mouth and talk any minute and tell me what he wants. Because he's got to want something. He's got food. He's got water. He's got toys. He's got playful times. He's got a dog to chew on. He's got cats to chew on. What more could a dog want? I don't know. Anyhow, welcome. If you're new to this channel, it's not always like, well, yeah, it probably is. <laughs> There's always something going on. Welcome. We have a haul this morning. Grab your coffee. Grab your, well, it's after breakfast time. Now it's quarter. It's almost lunchtime. I wonder I'm hungry. It's quarter to 12. It took me a minute to get done this morning. You know, bless their hearts. Timu sends stuff gratis. So you don't get have to pay for shipping or anything. But with that being said, a lot of times they'll send things together. And man, for me, that is so hard. I had to separate out about six orders in order to get together what I wanted to show you today. And there are two small orders. Uh, combined, it's a nice size order. So we will have fun. So go get your stuff. I'll wait. But pause me. Are you back yet? If you paused me, it would have been fine. Anyhow, for anyone that might not know what or who Timu is, they're an online marketing platform, not necessarily unlike some of the platforms we have here, but there are many, many really significant differences. The first being that the prices are 50 to 75% less than the marketplace. They carry everything except for food and um, pharmaceuticals. I think there's a candy that they carry. I haven't 
decided yet whether that was real. I've got to call customer service and find out. It had all the nutrition facts and everything up there. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's real. And if that's the case, it's not health food. It's not, it's like mango and one of them is peach and I don't know, they're like fruit slices of some kind. Prices aren't too bad though. I think candy prices are huge out of the roof here. So I went to go get some um, Sour Patch Kids for Peyton's friend. And at the service station, they were $4, four. I said, uh-uh, we're not doing that, Peyton. So then she went to a little town market called Harvest Market. Um, and they didn't have them. So I ordered them off of Walmart and they were $1.27 still. That's a lot. But the difference between $4 and $1.27, come on. I know convenience stores are convenient, but my goodness. And I don't think she really gets it why I didn't want to get them there. Anyway, she got them and she gave them to her friend and her friend was happy. So, um, prices are good. They've eliminated the middlemen. They've got lots and lots of vendors, uh, lots of products, thousands of products. Uh, there's really nothing you can't find. Um, at least there's nothing I haven't been able to find. There, oh goodness, there's mailing stuff. There's craft items, there's camping gear, shoes, socks, clothing, inner, you know, underwear, outerwear, dresses, pants, tops, men's, women, children, toys, uh, tools. Oh goodness, floral stuff, beautiful floral stuff for inside and outside. They have floral things that are UV resistant that you can put in your garden that look like real flowers. Um, I told my kids years ago, you know, don't ever put plastic flowers where you think you're going to see me. I'm not there, but anyway, I'll come get you because those plastic floral wreaths are just not okay. I've been impressed with the, the plastic stuff that Timu has. Um, that's not my first choice, but gosh, they're not bad at all. And the prices are great. They do have, uh, silk flowers also, you know, if you're planning a wedding or planning an anniversary, a birthday where you're going to have flowers, check Timu. I think you'll be really impressed. Anyhow, lots of vendors, prices are great. Now, because they cut out the middlemen. They don't have a lot of regulation and the, the prices aren't static. When you put it in your cart, it's bound to go up or down. So Timu has initiated a program called price adjustments. Uh, when the price goes down, you're going to see it. Uh, they're going to let you know, and they'll offer you a price adjustment to bring the price down that you paid. So it's equalized. Now there's another price adjustment tool that I'd like to tell you about real quick here. Uh, when you see an item that you want, click on it. Up in the right hand corner, you'll see a camera. That camera, click on that and it'll show you site wide where that product is being offered and the prices. So you may find prices that are less expensive than what you're looking at. Uh, it's another way to go. You can just click on the the link and go right to that site rather than the one that you were on. Um, all under Timo's umbrella. So price adjustments are good for 30 days from the time you put money on the order. Um, there's 90 days money back guarantee uh, for any reason. Uh, it doesn't have to be defective. You can just not like it. Um, there are games that Timo offers. Uh, Fishland Farmland, my codes will be in the description box. Now, if you're a brand new customer, listen up. Don't download anything yet. 
in the description box there will be a download link and up here right here you'll see my affiliate code write that down you'll need that with any orders that you make now what i would suggest that you do is to go into the website check it out check out the prices see if i'm not right do some price checking uh, with the other vendors that you use I know that you'll be really, really surprised. Then when you're ready to place your order, now you've already made a list, right, of things that you want, go into my description box and use the download link that's in my description box and uh, then put the affiliate code that you had up here in the search bar. Do your ordering. Oh, by the way, when you open that, it's going to invite you to be an affiliate. You don't have to do anything like that. You can, but that's something you can check out later too. It's always available. Um, it's fun. It's a fun program. The affiliate program and the influencer program are both really, really neat things to do. I'm an influencer. I enjoy it. Um, it's given me a piece of life that I didn't have before. So anyhow, that's something to look into, but you don't have to do that right now. Just scroll past it, make your order. You have an hour to place that order, your first order. And you get 30% off of already super duper prices and a $100 coupon bundle to use in subsequent orders. So what a way to start. Uh, if you enjoy the content, and you'd like to stick around, I would invite you to subscribe. I'd invite you to like, and I'd invite you to comment. Those likes are really, really important, guys. I know that the likes aren't happening as quickly or as many as I'd like to see, although I know a lot of you view on the TV. Um, the name of this channel is Timu Train and More. On your phone, Go into YouTube and pick it up that way. Uh, you can cast to the TV what you're viewing. And with that being said, then you can do your comments and your likes on your phone. So it's a really good way to view. Um, I'm sliding off the chair. Uh, come on, little boy. Anyhow... When you're ready, are you ready? Are you ready for a haul choo-choo train? I'm sorry, I didn't need to do that, but I did. I did need to do that. You ready to view some really neat items from Timu? Now these are quite varied, and I think what the first thing is going to be is a toilet plunger. <laughs> what an appropriate star, huh? Now this toilet plunger is unlike any other that I've ever seen. I paid 208 for it and it's 318 now. 370. I'm sorry. Now here's the one piece. One thing you're going to find when you get involved with Timu is plastic. There's plastic on everything and then there's plastic on the plastic. Now this feels like silicone. It's really soft and durable to make your, your seal. It smells good too. Now this is your plunger. Did I break it? No. I haven't played with this yet. Okay. What this does, you have your little lid. 
and you have this with a, a, a stainless steel or aluminum. I'm not sure what it is. And it's it has um, oh what is it called when you screw something in? It's got that stuff on it. Now thread. And there's thread on the bottom part here. You screw this little puppy in. You know, I can remember big words. I can remember all that stuff. And every once in a while, I have this brain lapse where little words that shouldn't be a big deal. Now, what you do is seat this in the sink or in the toilet, wherever you're plunging. And you don't have to lift it out. This will suck up and push back. Suck up and push back. This will do your plunging without getting water everywhere. I always have a mess to clean up after I plunge a toilet. It's not a very happy mess. It's not even unattractive. I have a plunger for my sink now. And this is what it looks like. I've had to toilet plungers. I kind of keep two of them around because I don't want to use the toilet one on my sink. Now there are three different colors and the different colors that the prices are color driven. I chose this color and it's a little bit more expensive. I think there's black and white, blue and white. I don't remember. There are three colors. And the prices are a little bit different. But this one is $380. I paid $208 for it. And the more you use it, the looser it gets. So it's not hard to use. The next thing I want to show you, when I saw this, I thought, ah, you've got to have this, Denise. This is a foot bath. It's no fancy dancy thing that circulates the water or anything like that, but I soak my feet once a week at least. Am I going to have to open this with scissors? Nope. I found it. I have this contest with myself. These little bags can be open most of the time. This is one of Timu's fancy dancy collapsible products. There are uh, storage dishes colanders, all kinds of measuring cups, all kinds of things that are collapsible for um, space shaving. Now this is nice and deep. It's big enough for my two feet. Now this is a large and for a large I paid $2.93 for it. It's $3.70 now. Watch for sales. They're there. And I put a few drops of Dawn just soap and hot, hot water in there. And you can soak your feet and it's lightweight. You're not carrying. I was using a roasting pan. They're oval and I could put both my feet in there. But my goodness, the roasting pan was heavy enough. And then to put water in it, it was really a hard thing to do for me to transfer it into here, but I did. This will be so much better. Now, you know, I can't tell you for sure if there are different colors on here. It could be, but there are different sizes. 
And I'm remembering that there are different colors. I don't think that the price is color driven, it is size driven. So for the very largest one, it's still under $3 for a foot bath. Can't beat it. Y'all know I've been doing damage control in my craft room. I have, a couple years ago, I bought a bunch of LOL dolls, oh, hundreds, and their clothes and everything to redo them. And I ended up getting sick and I wasn't able to market them. And I've taken them all and put them in containers, not unlike this. They're not the same color, but I think they're about the same size. Timu has wonderful, wonderful storage containers. They're big, they're deep, they hold a ton of stuff. I've ordered a bunch. This one is not the biggest size. It is shaped, it's made a little differently than the other ones. This one sets up like this, more like a hamper. The other ones are this way, and then the zipper is around the top. The zipper is around the top here, but this is the top right here. It holds a whole bunch. And they stack. They're nylon zippers. And this one has the double zipper that you can zip up part of it and not the other part. Here's the second part of the zipper. The other ones don't have that. This one is a good I like this part of this one. Now these containers, all, all the vendors have them. Well, I shouldn't say that. There are a lot of vendors that have them and they're different prices. I paid only $4.19 for this. You know how much the totes are? Like 10 bucks anymore. They're terrible. And then you have the, the awkwardness and the weight of the plastic that you're dealing with before the stuff that you store. They're $4.49 now. Watch for sales. Timu has sales all the time. Put in the search bar, storage solutions on sale. They'll bring up the best prices that you can have, plus use that, that tool that I gave you uh, to click on the picture. You'll find great deals on great storage less than half of what well golly and this is the volume that this will hold as much as two tubs so go figure you know two tubs in one item for four dollars and 19 cents versus 20 bucks for two tubs it's pretty good stuff Okay. This isn't something that I really had to have. I think Katie has in her front bathroom, it's kind of a bathroom off the of laundry room. I think she has a room where there's no toilet paper holder. If not, I'll hold on to it because you never know. I chose white, and there again, there are some different colors. That green that I showed you is kind of a real popular color for Timu plastics. This is the sticky part that you put on the wall. 
and it mounts. You peel this and stick it. Make sure you measure. You don't, I'll put it wonky every time if I don't measure anymore. I used to have a really good eye, but I think I, I hold my head cockeyed now. And this is the part on the back that mounts. It's really easy to do. Now watch me not there. So that way it'd be hanging on the wall. You've got your toilet paper dispenser. Place for your phone. Phone cord, if need be. It's really a cute little deal. Did I not mark this? I didn't mark this. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I put it on the box. I did. I paid $4.31 for this, and that's $2.96 now. Now, I did get price adjustments. I was going to write those down, and I forgot to. But even at $4.31, to buy a, a toilet paper dispenser, it, it just doesn't happen. And you can choose the color that you want. I think they're gray, turquoise, and white. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong, okay? About the colors. I'm wrong about a lot of things. I gotta tell you, this necklace and earrings, I haven't hauled this yet. I swiped it out of an order. And I thought with this dress, the white and the white, it's really a lot. I'd like to be able to cut this necklace down to two. I don't think I can, but then it has the earrings. I think it was about $7 for this set, maybe four, but I'll have to figure it out. I will rehaul it when the time comes. I got an orange bag. I've been getting about half and half. The UPS ground, they're in white bags, and I don't know why. I mean, they're not even Timu bags. First thing, now, I fell in love with this dress, and I did some price checking on Amazon. And they have the exact same pattern. Not as pretty though. This is a scallop front dress. I paid $6.69 for it. It's $7.48 now. You know how much it was on Amazon? For the least expensive of this pattern, $30. $30. Oh, and the plunger. I looked for plungers. I couldn't find one like this one, but just the basic plastic plunger is $19. I think that's right. I'll look again, and if I was wrong with the price, I'll let you know. But it was ugh, huge. Now, this dress is 100% polyester. It is so, so pretty. Can you tell that the neckline is scalloped? It is. And that's what I looked for. Um, Amazon didn't have it. They do have dresses like this in the exact same pattern. And like I said, the least amount. And you know, actually I'm thinking that that was a blouse. It wasn't a dress that was 30. I could be wrong. There again. Hold on. Maybe I have this here. Uh, 
Okay. The plunger was 208-342 and Amazon's cheapest plunger. Now I did lie to you. I'm so sorry. And this is for the wooden stick and the terracotta colored plastic, $7.99. Um, the dress, 6 dollars And the least expensive dress that they had was $29.99 that had this pattern. What would you rather pay? I didn't even think that the style was anything to write home about. It was nothing different than what you find on Timu. Now this is short sleeve and the sleeves are a little short. Oh dear. I'll have to wear a sweater with this. I'm pretty sure I will. It's not much more than a cap sleeve. And I've got fluffy arms, so. But that scalloped, the pattern is, it is almost like tulips. It's really, really pretty. The colors are beautiful. There are different colors of green and purple and red. It is a longer dress that comes down below your knees. And that's truly what I prefer. It's flowy. It's the flowy polyester when it's washed. It's going to drape really well. And again, uh, I paid $6.69 for this dress. And it's $7 and something now. only part of the order that I priced out though. Now these are for Katie. She wears these exact sandals and she said, mom, she, she said, I paid $30 for a pair and she said I had to cut them and then I can't send them back and they don't fit. She likes the toe, the big toe part here. I do too, but I can't wear these sandals anymore. They're really soft. They're like a suede. I hope they're generous enough at the foot. It goes over the top of the foot, the instep. And these are a size 43, so they're nine and a half. I do believe. You know how much I paid for these? Seven dollars and nineteen cents. And they're seven dollars and nineteen cents now. They smell like new shoes. I'm sure it's all man made material. I think well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I think it's man-made material, but she'll wear a pair of these shoes for a year, and she wears them every day. Very seldom does she wear clothes-in shoes. She's like her mother. So this is a gift for Katie. If I ever see her. She's so stinking busy. This is stringing stuff. I paid 87 cents for it. It's 89 cents now. It's like a fishing line.
I think that it is six millimeter and there are 20 meters in it and I paid 87 cents for it and on Amazon it was four seventy four to nine ninety nine. It was more product, but certainly not enough to offset the difference in price. And they didn't have the six millimeter. They just had eight. It went from four to eight, I think. And this will be for beading. I have enough of this now to last me for a minute, so. And again, it was 87 cents. You know, I've had such a hard time with nails. I was real excited when I started getting the Timu nails because I, I have such trouble with my nails anyway. And I started wearing them. And they did damage my nails because I wore them day and night. And, you know, I, I just wore them. I'm ready to start wearing them again. I bought these two sets. This one. It's kind of pretty. It has leaves on it. I paid 67 cents for them and they're 69 cents now. Uh, I don't know how they can do it for that price. I honestly don't. I think they're 20. The tag is over the top of this, so I can't tell. But there are the sticky-ons in here. If you would rather use these than super glue. You know, I've never tried using these. I'm going to try them and see if, if they work on the nails as well as super glue. Come on out. But I've been without them for a while, and I'm thinking I'm going to try them again. You peel them off of here, and they're sticky on both sides. And you can stick nails on there. There are eight. I think there are 20 nails in here. And there are a few different sizes. Maybe there are 16 been a while since I've looked at nails. Now they are, they were 67 cents. I know that Timu has some really, really high end stuff. I've never bought them. I don't know what the difference would be. So I can't tell you. Uh, Although there are people that buy just the high-end nails. 24 pieces, natural, delicate, and comfortable. 24 pieces on the floor. And this is the same. It has the sticky-ons inside. I kind of thought that pa pattern was pretty. I like the colors. I paid 44 cents for them and they're 47 cents now. And they come with a little nail file. Kind of a fun thing. You know, I was digging through all this stuff looking for something that I thought was in this order and I didn't look close enough to what it was. So I found what I thought I needed and then found out it wasn't it. So I had to dig through again to find these. It's worth it though. 
I just have to laugh at myself sometimes. A lot. Here's the other one. Now I bought these. Um, there are two of them. What do you think they are? They kind of look like pregnancy tests. No, that's not what it is. What I have bought and I will haul are two of these deals that you stick in your toilet bowl and it cleans the iron off of your toilet bowl. So that'll be coming soon. And I thought that's what I saw. It's not. You know what this is? has a lid on it and it fits really tight so it's safe these are scissors snippers and you hear them they're very precise the cutting edge is great I think that I'll be using these more than rippers and what I thought because the case is so stable you could put these in your purse and if you have threads hanging or you know if you need to cut anything at all you'll have it available two of them were three dollars and ten cents and they're three dollars and ten cents now and that's her two What else is in here? We have plans today. After I get done here, I am almost done in the craft room. Everything is put away except for maybe a third of the table. But I was able to get everything off the shelves of the doll stuff and store it away. I was able to get my beads organized. Um, the flowers have their place. Um, I haven't organized the sewing stuff yet. There's just so much stuff in there. I have my fingers in so many pots. I've got to stop it because when I see something neat and I want to do it, it involves more stuff and I've got to stop that. Okay. This is a, a miscellaneous bag of beads and they all have holes in them they're a hundred grams three and three and a third ounces and there's some big ones there's some little ones they're all glass so I get to sort stuff again <laughs> I know you must think I'm crazy. You know what? You're probably right. I enjoy it though. I'm looking forward to using these crystal beads. I have more crystal beads too. And I have um, spacers. It's going to make some really pretty stuff. Now these aren't dark. Well, they have dark ones in here too. But you remember these that I got at Habitat? They're little glass beads. And they have spacers in there. I have spacers just like these. I'll be making those. Now for three and a third ounces, I paid $2.69. And they're $2.69 now. That's a lot of beads, you know. And yes, Donetta, I got more beads. See, here's the crystal beads. These are all crystal beads. See the... They have facets on them. They just shine and they're, they're beautiful. I think there are 300 pieces in here. 
and they are varied in size. I paid three oh five for them, and that's about what they are now. I think that I put down the a dollar forty eight, but I don't think that's right. I think that there were different quantities, and this is the largest quantity. So I've got some really sparkly things right here. That's it. I think I killed a bag. The last thing that I have here are beading needles. You've never seen me get beading needles before, have you? Well, Peyton's spring break is coming to an end soon and I have a haul that's a lot of her clothes so I'm going to be doing that it'll be out of sequence I'm working I it's here I haven't told her that yet I'll probably be doing the haul tomorrow and I hope I can get her to put them on for you she's very shy about the camera and stuff um, so at least I'll be showing them to you. But she said, Grandma, I want to take them out of the bag. And I told her she could. You know, I'll, I'll put them back in if I need to so she can put them out. But I hope that she will just model for us. She's a sweet little girl. I love her dearly. Come on. Well, the sun was out briefly. It's still kind of light outside. I don't know if the sun's going to come back or not. What's the weather like where you are? I'm pretty tired of being cold, you guys. And I'm not one of those that can do that. Uh, the winter trips to Florida or anything. Were they called snowbirds? I'm going to have to cut the end off. I don't want to do that, though. If I cut the end off, then it won't have the... Um, there. It has a Ziploc on it. Oh, they're in something else plastic, too. So I might not be getting them out right now. I don't know. These are really long needles, though. And for beading... I think I like the longer needles better. They have nice eyes. They're not tiny, tiny eyes. But look at how long they are. Sorry about that. They, uh, saw someone doing something and they needed to let you know about it. Anyhow, these needles were 30 are 87 cents and they're 89 cents now. Now the price comparisons that I did 28 pack of needles. Oh my goodness. I paid 87 cents for them. They're $6.29. Pardon me. I hope I'm telling you that right. 
The crystal beads that I paid three oh five for are eleven ninety nine. The four hundred piece mixed glass beads, these. Were fourteen ninety nine. The crystal beads three hundred were eleven ninety nine, and that was three oh five. And then the the four the four hundred gram or the hundred gram that's about four hundred pieces are two sixty nine, and they're fourteen ninety nine at Amazon. So, cord beading. Okay, those are the things that I looked up. And I want to be doing this more for you because I think it's really important that you, you know, continue to see that there really is a difference. Um, there really is. I really thank you for being here. I've enjoyed this so much. If you've enjoyed this haul, if you've enjoyed the time that you spent here, I would invite you to subscribe. I'd invite you, if you've subscribed, like it. Please like it. And um, make a comment. I answer all my comments. If you take the time to write me, I will write you back. It's just so important. And we have such a great relationship on this channel. Uh, read the comments. You'll have a chance to see who you're with, see the type of people that are here. It's a wonderful group. And if you're new, remember the instructions are in the description box. Also, there will be ordered um, a link for the products in the description box and my product code, or the um, codes for Fishland and Farmland. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and until next time.